Hey guys, so thanks for being so patient for my next update. Um, I know it's late, but we've had a lot going on. Um, I got some interesting results um, about my kidneys. We, well, I went for my water ultrasound for them to check for structural problems with my uterus. And we went on a weekend trip to California to visit family, so... It's been kind of hectic. last Thursday, so a week ago, for the water ultrasound, and I didn't really know what to expect, but I wasn't super nervous, and normally I'm the Google queen, so I usually look up everything about it before I go in for anything, but I didn't really do that this time just because at this point it's kind of like, whatever, whatever they want to do, you know, whatever. So I didn't really get nervous until the day of because I was like, wait, what's going to happen? How is this going to work? And um, this can be a little bit graphic. So if there are any guys watching, you might want to stop watching like right now. Um, but they asked me if I had any questions before it started. And I was like, well, how does the water come out? And they kind of laughed and I guess it's a funny question, but they were just like, well, it just kind of trickles out like a period. And I was like, okay, that's kind of weird. Um, but what they did is they used the speculum, um, and my favorite way to kind of animate that is, so it looks like a duck beak and, you know, it just kind of opens. Um, they took the speculum, opened it up, and then they put a catheter in. Um, and I was telling my husband about the catheter and he was just like, ugh. But I, I, was, I think he was thinking that, you know, as far as like urine and catheter going through your urethra to your bladder. And I was like, no, um, it's not like that. So the, they put the catheter in and on the other end of the catheter, they had kind of a, a long fat syringe thing filled with the water. Um, they put the catheter in. They told me that was going to be the most painful part, but I, I mean, it was fine. I didn't, that part was fine. Um, and then after that, they used the ultrasound wand. So for a transvaginal ultrasound, um, they put that in and by then it was kind of crowded in there, but it still didn't, you know, I didn't really feel, I mean, it was fine. Um, and he turned the screen so that we could both see it. And then the nurse, um, started pushing the water in through the catheter and I could see it on the screen, you know, my uterus expanding and it looked pretty cool. Um, and then, you know, he kind of looked around a little bit and it wasn't very long, but he said everything looked perfect. There was nothing, nothing wrong. Um, and he, so he said, that's good news. Nothing is wrong, but it doesn't help with any more answers for why I could be having multiple miscarriages. So, you know, he was done looking, he looked at my ovaries as well. And, um, when he was finished, you know, and they took the catheter out, that's the part that really hurt. Um, I mean, it kind of like, I mean, I was, I, I kind of jumped a little bit because it hurt and I wasn't expecting it just because nothing else really did. But, um, and then afterward, um, I bled a little bit and I was asking, I asked if it was normal because I noticed right away when I stood up, um, obviously some water was coming out and I got a tissue. Um, and I noticed the blood, so I asked them if it was normal, and they're like, oh yeah, well, you know, we kind of aggravated, you know, inside there, so, um, I bled a little bit, but just for the rest of that day, um, so that was fine, and after that, I mean, I didn't really feel, like, it was a tiny bit crampy, but it was no big deal, um, 
And then I told him about the kidney results that I got. Um, we did a medical exam for life insurance and the tests for my kidneys came back really bad. Um, I mean, it was kind of scary. And I knew in the past that I had kidney problems. Um, my test came back with high protein in my urine and one of my nephrologists in California did tons of tests. She couldn't figure out a reason why I would, why that would be happening. And so she basically, you know, said that the only explanation is that my body's really sensitive to ibuprofen. And when I was popping ibuprofen like crazy before I was diagnosed with migraines, that, you know, I kind of caused a little bit of kidney damage. You know, that's the only explana explanation that she could come up with. Um, and so she put me on a medication that was supposed to help it. And it did over time. But then when we started trying to get pregnant, I had to stop that medication. Um, because it's not safe, you know, while you're trying or while you're pregnant. So um, when we got these last results from the life insurance, um, that kind of, and I had forgotten all about it through everything that we've been going through. Um, and then when we got those results, I was like, crap. Um, and then I remembered obviously that I had that issue before, but um, I didn't expect it to be, I guess, that high. And so I went to a new nephrologist here in Utah um, and he had me do some more tests and he said it, that everything seems fine. So, um, anybody else that didn't have those issues previously, it could be like, okay, the test was, you know, it was, it was wrong. It was a false test. Um, but since I had those issues before, I can't really feel like the test that the life insurance did, um, is a coincidence and that, you know, that it just came back with high protein. So I'm kind of skeptical about that. Um, I feel like I should be happy and just take his word for it, but it's hard. So I think in a few months I will request another follow-up test. Um, so anyway, I told the fertility specialist, you know, about that issue and, you know, he just told me to make sure my kidneys are good to go before we try again. Um, and then we should be good to go. And I still wasn't sure, you know, if I wanted to try again right away, but the more I thought about it, I, I just don't want to wait any longer. And he told me, you know what, once I know the kidneys are good, um, you know, start trying again. Um, if I don't get pregnant in six months, go back. He said, we don't really want to waste a whole lot of time. And he said, what he wants me to do, um, is start the progesterone, um, after I ovulate late, not when I find out I'm pregnant. Um, so I'll need to use my ovulation predictor kits. Um, and then I use the Ovia app to track my cycle as well. So I'll use that um, to make sure I know when I'm ovulating. If not, I'll have to take my best guess and use progesterone from then. But the progesterone is the most expensive part. Um, I don't know exactly how much it'll cost because I'm going to go through a different pharmacy this time. But I know last time for a one month supply, it was like 90 bucks. So... I mean, that's kind of expensive to have to do for several months, so hopefully it doesn't take very long. Um, and then he also prescribed me the folic acid, which I've already started taking. Uh, I have to take it twice a day, and I can hardly remember to take a pill one time a day, so we'll see how it works trying to remember to take it twice a day. Um, but other than that, um, I just don't really want to wait to try anymore. So um, we'll see how long it takes, and um, you know, even if I got pregnant right away, I would still have plenty of time to be able to go to Jamaica in April because my brother is getting married there at the end of April. So that will be exciting. Um, you know, I just hope everything goes uphill from here. Um, I've been through a lot and I, on the way to California, I kind of had a breakdown. I mean, I felt like I had to be strong just because I had no other choice and um, you know, I'm like, okay, I've been through this before I can deal with it. But I think on the way to California, it really hit me that, you know, I had a baby in there and it, he, and it, we found it was a boy had a beating heart. Um, and it was just overwhelming at that point. And I bought the soundtrack for the faults in our stars for the road trip there. And the movie sad soundtrack is kind of sad. Um, but I really like it and I mean, I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but listening to it um, You know, I happened to be listening to it when I had that breakdown. So who knows? Um, but I'm pretty hopeful. I'm glad that 
the doctor has ruled out everything else pretty much besides the progesterone thing and the folic acid, you know, the genetic mutation I mentioned in my last video. Um, cause it could be worse, you know? And so at this point I'm, I'm hopeful and I know things will get better. And, you know, even if it takes longer, I, I still have hope for that. And I'm grateful for you guys for watching. And if you have any recommendations or, um, you know, questions, just let me know. And other than that, I will update you as soon as anything else happens. Hopefully next time that I'm pregnant. So I'll see you guys later. Thank you. Mm -hmm.